I'm trying to I'm trying to film a video and this guy's just blasting his speakers. These people are fucking dancing on the street. I have some very fond memories of stuffing my face with White Castle. So when I was in my teens, the first time I had braces, my orthodontist was in the Bronx, and every time we went down there, you know, my parents would get me like 15 or 20 White Castle cheeseburgers, and that was my favorite. And I think we did that a couple times a year for about two years. And when I heard White Castle had like the new vegan Beyond Meat stuff, I figured it was a good way for me to get some nostalgia, maybe have some fun. And I didn't think they would actually have it, but I called up White Castle and they have some type of fake meat burger as well as a, a bean burger. So uh, we're gonna pull in and see what they have. Here we are, White Castle. You guys hear my tie rod? <laughs> I think that's what it is. I haven't been in a drive-thru in God knows how many years. I think, I think the last time I was in a drive-thru was when I was filming the McDonald's versus Wendy's video, which you guys weren't too happy about. That was some years ago. I think I'll get my grandma some burgers but I don't remember what she likes. Hi, welcome to White Castle. How may I help you? Hey, do you guys have any vegan burgers? Another. Vegan? Yeah. Like... Yeah, we have the Impossible and the um, Veggie Burger. Uh, can I try one of each of those? Do you have some vegan? The dairy free, dairy free cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. And then can I get uh, four cheeseburgers? How many cheeseburgers? Four. Four cheeseburgers, okay. And then four hamburgers. Okay. What's the most popular thing? Just the burgers here? Yeah. Cheeseburgers. We have jalapeno cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers. We have cheddar cheeseburgers. Yeah, let me get the onion rings. I think that's what my grandma likes. Yeah. Get one of those. Okay, that sounds good. Seventeen forty-one. Would you like to make it an even $18 and donate to Autism Speaks? Uh, no, that's all right. Okay, uh, seventeen yeah, me, forty-one. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. My castle reminds me so much of the Bronx. I can't catch a break, man. This really is the Bronx. This guy's asking me for fucking money in the White Castle drive. I'll give him a dollar. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, boy. Yeah. Thank you, boy. One impossible, one veggie. You just waiting for your one impossible one veggie. Okay, thank you. Yeah, how are those vegan burgers doing? People don't want that, right? Yeah, they eat them a lot. Oh, they do? They like them? Yeah. Okay. So to my dismay, the vegan burgers are actually pretty popular. I don't know why, like, White Castle would allow that guy to solicit people in the driver. I guess it's the Bronx, so people don't care, but I would assume that's a good way to get the cops called on you, because from a business perspective, like, people aren't going to want to go to White Castle again if some homeless guy is peddling for money when they're sitting in their car waiting for their food. So I'm going to drop some of this off at my grandma's house. She really hates being on camera, so I'm not going to even ask her. And then we'll go home and we'll taste these. Maybe I'll get my family to try some too. So my grandma didn't actually want the White Castle because my uncle brought her some yesterday. Uh, so my dad's gonna be in heaven with all this crap. So let's go home. I don't know if it's the smell of these burgers giving me a headache or the towers pointed at me. Hey, if it makes people happy, slug down the plant-based slop while getting radiated. Well, we got a bit of background noise because my parents run a professional laundromat washing one pair of underwear at a time and my sister's having a little fun downstairs. So we got some very greasy bags. I'm sure my car is gonna smell for, for God knows how many weeks. Uh, so on the left here, I have the bean burger, I have the Beyond burger, and then I have a regular cheeseburger on the right. And the cheeseburger and the Beyond burger actually look the same. There's no like, there's no marking on the box. Like you can't tell the difference. Well, this box is a little bigger, actually. So if you look at these two burgers, the Beyond Burger is more of like a square, squared off shape, and the beef looks like it's thinner and rendered down. And then this Bean Burger just looks like a veggie patty. It's circular. It's very obviously different. Uh, so I guess the hamburger makes the most sense. And I have my little... Um, this is my barf bag. I gotta spit this out, guys. I would be so sick if I ate this. I 
I haven't had these in literally 15 years. I'm getting way too old. I don't actually taste any meat on these. I think like I should have ordered a double cheeseburger or something that I just taste like onions and, and bread. I literally can't taste the meat. I should have ordered it without cheese, but I did order hamburgers. So let me just take a piece of the hamburger meat and try it. The hamburger meat isn't that bad, but when you put cheese and ketchup and pickles and stuff on it, it just overtakes it. I mean, it's not good, but like, at least it tastes somewhat like beef. So let's try the, I don't even know why I bought this to be honest. I guess I just got it for the hell of it. The, um, the bean veggie burger. Maybe this is what they had before the, um, before the Beyond Burger. There's like carrots and shit in this. This is actually only cheese and the burger. The Beyond is, oh, there, so there's, there's pickles and ketchup on this one. But this one is just cheese. Oh God. You can literally see the peas and the corn in this. I mean, it's junk food, like bread, cheese, and a fake patty. It doesn't taste like horrible. Hopefully the pesticide residue in my mouth doesn't poison me too badly. Moment of truth, Beyond White Castle Burger. This is tricky because it's so much more meat. Well, not meat, but protein on this. So the amount of meat on the Beyond White Castle burger is roughly 1.5 times that, maybe even double that of the regular White Castle burger. So when that lady said that they were scarfing these down like crazy, I'm not surprised. And the problem is the beef they use in White Castle is so crappy, like I'm almost tempted to say that this Beyond Bull Crap tastes better than the regular White Castle cheeseburger. Overall, I think it's a step up from the previous like bean burger they had. I don't think it's better than the regular cheeseburger. I don't think it's better than a double cheeseburger. The Beyond Burger, you don't really want to go in and take another bite as badly as you do with the regular White Castle cheeseburgers. Both of these are poison. You know, the quality of the meat, the quality of the bread, how much crap is in there really is hard to say. Vegetable seed oils, agrochemicals. You know, is it really the worst fast food you could have? Maybe not, but the Beyond Burger takes away at least some B vitamins and some animal nutrients you were getting from uh, the beef. So I guess that's it. Thank you guys for joining me for uh, this little change of pace. Let me know if there's any other vegan places you guys would like me to try out. I mean, you know, it's close enough that it's scary to say that people would probably be fine removing, you know, the meat component of the burger because even if the Beyond Burger tastes, you know, 70 to 80% is good, that's still a pretty high percentage for removing a main component of the dish. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.